I'm Ben Edwards and welcome to the Peloton Service Course and Part 1 of Peloton Magazine's 2016 Holiday Gear Guide. We're going to bring you a look at some of our favorite products featured in the pages of Peloton this year, as well as some new products that have just hit the market. We're going to start with one of our favorite bikes, a bike that has proven itself to be one of the most versatile on the road, in the gravel, and on the cross course, the Foundry Overland. The Foundry Overland is a titanium bike primarily thought of as a gravel bike, likely because it has seen incredible success at Dirty Kanza. We consider the Overland to be perhaps the premier performance gravel bike available for a few reasons. It makes important gravel and adventure features like comfortable, bulletproof titanium and clearance for 40mm tires with performance-oriented geometry and angles. The bottom bracket drop hits a versatile sweet spot at 68mm, providing both clearance and stability. The chainstays are 425mm long, tight enough for lively response even on the road, but long enough to lay the power down in deep gravel. It's these features that make the Foundry Overland so adept at transitioning from gravel to road to the cross course. The Overland can be had as a frame and a Whiskey 9 carbon fork for $2,195 or as a complete SRAM Rival 22 build, the same build ridden to victory at Dirty Kanza. It features Rival hydraulic braking, a Zip service course cockpit, Physique and Terry saddle, and DT Swiss R24 tubeless compatible wheels. This build comes in at just under $4,000. Considering the bike's beautiful craftsmanship and incredible versatility, the Overland is one of the best values in cycling today. On the rivet, it's a retro term every racer knows. Elbows bent, you slide forward on the saddle and ride at your limit. The rivet riders slid onto in the old days was usually a Brooks rivet, and thanks to the new Cambium C13, racers will again be sliding onto a Brooks rivet at the nose of their saddle. The saddle stays true to Brooks heritage, yet with design and materials that make it the lightest Brooks ever. Instead of leather, Brooks uses vulcanized rubber, which provides the famous Brooks hammock effect to move seamlessly with the rider, yet requires no break-in period. The rails are molded as a single piece of carbon braided, both incredibly light and incredibly strong. The carbon rails and vulcanized rubber top are joined by, what else? Rivets, but lightweight aluminum rivets. Brooks tested the Cambium C13 over countless miles, including the cobblestones of Roubaix. Made in Italy, the C13 weighs 259 grams and is offered in three different widths. And with or without a pressure relief cutout, the C13 can be yours for $220. Over the last few seasons, we have been consistently impressed with the clothing coming out of Colorado-based Pactimo, and the Flagstaff RT jacket is another piece seeing heavy rotation here at Peloton Service Course. Named for one of the most famous climbs in Boulder, Colorado, the Flagstaff RT jacket protects your leading edge, chest, arms, and shoulders with wind and waterproof climb stretch fabric, while breathe light mesh across the back and underarms vents excess heat. Other features take these fabrics over the top for us. RT means reflective technology, and the waistband is reflective reflective and visible from 360 degrees. Two magnetic closures on the back provide easy access to jersey pockets, the collar is tall, the fit is dialed for layering in an aggressive position, and it stows easily in a jersey pocket. We've been matching the Flagstaff RT with the Summit Raptor 2.0 RT bibs, simply some of the best bibs ever made with sublime fit and high-end materials made by Swiss fabric mill Scholler. With finely tuned compression, cold black technology, a Cytec chamois, and more reflective technology, these are exceptional long miles bibs. Both the Flagstaff RT jacket and Summit Raptor 2.0 RT bibs are available in a women's cut, while the jacket can be had in three different colors. The jacket is a steal at just $120, while the bibs are $200. There are a massive amount of lights on the market and a bewildering array of features, so we kept it simple. Right now we're riding Cat Eye's RapidX lights. The RapidX line consists of both rear lights and front lights and a streamlined, easy to mount package that seems to disappear on your handlebars or seat post. These are the kind of lights you can keep on your bike at all times, from club ride to commute. All these lights provide 180 degrees of visibility for extra security. There are four RapidX rear lights to choose from, starting at 50 lumens with six light modes and up to 30 hours of runtime for $40. At the top of the line for the rear option is the Rapid X2 Kinetic for $60, which uses an accelerometer to switch into constant mode when it senses sudden changes in speed, like pulling up to a stop sign. Also available are the X3 at 150 lumens and X2 at 80 lumens. Up front, the Cat Eye Rapid X line has three options, the 80 lumen Rapid X, 140 lumen X2, and 300 lumen X3. All three lights offer up to 30 hours of runtime in flashing mode, have six different light patterns, and cost four 40, 50, and 60 dollars respectively. The ease of use, reliability, and streamlined package make the Cat Eye Rapid X line of lights very easy to live with, which for us means we're staying safer on the road more often. 
Now there is one more product we'd like to look at during part one of our 2016 holiday gear guide, and that's our own Peloton Magazine. With our current holiday offer, you can get a one-year subscription to Peloton Magazine and a custom live, love, ride, repeat Peloton Magazine t-shirt for just $25. That's $100 off the cover price. Look for part two of our holiday gear guide very soon. We'll look at more bikes, more apparel, and more components. Thanks for watching.